Hi, this is Dr. Deborah, and I'm back with another green smoothie recipe and a bit of a workout tip today. Um, this week I started a new workout, and um, the week I started a new workout, I do fewer sets so that my body gets a chance to acclimate, and um, usually that works out fine, but this week I've been really sore a day or two or even three um, after my workout, and I thought, well, what's different? Um, I stretched afterwards, now this one concentrates on abs, and I don't really concentrate on abs, but I do quite a few abdominal exercises. And yes, there's even stretches for abs, and I'll show you that in a different video, in a different environment, but what's been the difference? And the difference has been, I have not been partaking of my green smoothies in the morning after working out, or really at all. I've just had a hard time getting back into the flow of that. For some reason, I've gotten where I just grab a banana and um, I don't really uh, nourish my body properly, I don't think, afterwards. So today I'm back on track and um, I worked out this morning and um, so I'm back on track with a green smoothie. And this one's called the Emerald Pear and it's surprisingly good. The first time I made it, I, I wasn't sure I was going to like it. It just happened to be the fruits that I had on hand. Um, and it starts with a couple pears and these are um, organic pears from uh, Sunflower Market. And Sunflower Market, if you have one of those in your area, they're really nice. They have really nice greens and really nice fruit and quite a bit of organic. And usually there's at least something organic on sale. And um, so yeah, this week I got to go into the city and go to Sunflower Market and go to Trader Joe's, neither of which um, is very close, so it has to be when you're making the trip in for something else. So we're going to put two of the pears in, and then we're going to take two kiwis, and all I did was wash them, and I just slice them, and I don't worry about the skin because it just gives you lots of nice fiber, and you won't notice it once it's ground up into the smoothie. and then I think this is this is kale this is I believe it's called Lancanto kale it's nice dark green kale and we're gonna start with two pieces of that and see how that goes uh, even just putting the lid on I can feel it in my ass so it's amazing the things we do that uses abdominal muscle I always tend to put in some greens and then taste test and see if I can put in more because the greens are the magical ingredient. Okay, I think for me 
me this last week. That's been I've still been eating plenty of fruit and some greens and vegetables, but not near the amount I get by eating my smoothies. Here's our nice pretty glass. And there is our beautiful emerald pear smoothie. So give that a try and see if that doesn't help you recover from your workouts. I know I'm going to really make sure that I get mine from now on. So this is Dr. Deborah wishing you a great day and an enjoyable green smoothie. So give that one a try and let me know what you think. Bye-bye now.